Hi lovelies, I hope everyone's having a lovely day today. So I am back, okay, now I've been gone for a while and I haven't been uploading for a while. It was my birthday last Wednesday, so, you know, I had a little break, you know, a little chill, chill, you know, just like vibing and stuff. And then the day after my birthday on the Thursday, I had an allergic reaction on my face from some facial wash and cream I was using for the first time. So it was really, really bad. It's only kind of just cleared up now. It's still kind of here, but it was so bad around here. It was just all just, it just was not the one. That's the first time I've ever had like an allergic reaction rash from anything like that. Um, but yeah, so... I took off a little bit longer than I needed to just because I needed my face just to calm down because it was so red and stuff and it just wasn't nice but I'm so happy to be back now I'm so happy to be back I'm so happy <laughs> but yes so today I'm going to be reacting to Nardwa I'm so sorry if I've said it wrong but I'm not sure I'm not very good with names but hopefully I've said it right versus Billie Eilish 2019 okay so a lovely person sent me this request on instagram through dms so make sure you follow me on instagram and send me a message okay of your video suggestions that you would like me to react to make sure you follow me then send me a message just so i see it um yeah thank you so much i would really appreciate it but anyways guys thank you so much for the request and i'm gonna jump straight into it well, this is billy eilish and you're watching nardwar's video nardwar i think i said it right nardwar i think <sighs> okay okay I've seen Nardwa before. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. I know that he's like crazy cool. funny. This is fire. I like this. Who am I? Uh, only the best for Billy Eilish. <laughs> uh, who are you? Billy Eilish. Billy Eilish, welcome to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. And right off the bat, Billy Eilish, I have a gift for you. An original 1968 yellow submarine corgi toy of the Beatles. Ooh. Wow. Dude, my dad would love this. She loves look, the Beatles. Look at him right there. Ooh, look at his love face. Actually, who do we have Ooh. right now? We have Patrick O'Connell, uh, Billy Eilish's dad, right there. And beside <laughs> him? And beside him, we got Phineas O'Connell, my brother. And beside him? And him, we got Maggie Baird, my mama. And right up front, we have Billy <laughs> holding the Beatles from 1968. Swag. And you love the Beatles, don't yes, you? Does. I love the Beatles. Do you have any original Beatles toys? No, I do not. I'm young. I'm too young for that. I am too young. I mean, the only things I have is like shit that you gave me last time I saw you. You gave me a little, but you gave me like pins and stuff. Oh, you remember? I remember. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you for not throwing that out. I still have them. You give me a piece of gum. You know, I have that. Chewed it up. No, I did not chew it up. <laughs> Billy Eilish, thank you, Ruby. Thank you, Ruby. Who the fuck is Ruby? Ruby introduced you to Green Day. Took you to Green Day. My God. Yo, ew. Why do you know that shit? That's so irrelevant. Like, it's so irrelevant. Well, you were Billy Eilish. We have to know. Bitch, who told you that? Ruby <laughs> Hirsch. Yeah, that was my, um, when I was nine, I had a crush on this boy and her, his older sister was Ruby. And she, that's crazy. Did she? Was it her? Come over here, Phineas, if you could. <laughs> Explain for Billy. Phineas has some pimple cream on his head. I do. Nothing wrong with that, self -care. Phineas. Damn um, right. Self yeah, Ruby's a friend of mine. She's been a friend of mine since I was like born, and she, uh, she was, she was also a fan of Green Day. Introduced me to Green Day via Wake Me Up When September Ends. Oh so, no! There's an ad. 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 I'd like to boost. We gotta go. And actually, I have a gift for you guys right here. Turn it around. The soundtrack for a Green Day produced movie about the history of East Bay Punk. Cool. Wait, really? Yeah, with some unreleased Green Day, Blats, Up Ivy, and it's on blue vinyl. Oh, it's on Ivy? Yes, oh, cool. a blue vinyl double LP. Oh, my God. In honor of Ruby. In honor of Ruby. Love you, Ruby. 
Ruby. What the hell? Thank you, Ruby. Yes. Yes. Now that you're up here, do you like guitar straps? What do you think about guitar straps? I love guitar straps. I feel like a lot of the time they're very boring and like run of the mill. And if you can have like an interesting looking guitar strap, even if you have like a like a squire guitar, like you look like you know what you're doing. Yeah. What do you think about Phineas wearing guitar straps? I love it. And Phineas, we have a gift for you. There's I all these gifts and he's getting, you know, these gifts, okay? What nod what? Hopefully I've said it right. That he's giving them is like good gifts. They're like good gifts, like unique to them, if that makes sense. They're not like just random things like he knows that they're gonna love these. That's why it's so cool. Revolver! <laughs> yes! <laughs> this is so cool. Wow. Should I put this on like a white guitar for the show? Oh, that is so sick. Revolver! I love Revolver. It's one of my favorite albums. I love the cover art for this album. This is so cool. Crazy. Wow, thank you, Nardwar. That's a gift for you? That's amazing. I love this. And tell me about Eric motherfucking Palmquist. Oh my god. Eric Palmquist is a producer who uh, produced a band called Bad Sons that I loved um, in my shoes. early shoes. Look at his shoes. His shoes are pretty young. Damn. <laughs> He's a great guy, though. He linked you up kind of with Danny. He is, yeah. He is managed by our manager, Danny. And the reason that we know Danny is because of Eric Palmquist. So, yeah. Because of your email. Because of my email. Which, Eric. the title of the email is Eric Flipping Palmquist. <laughs> now, what I find really interesting is Phineas graduated at 15? So did I. But Phineas did. But Phineas did. Yeah, but, but, you know, my diploma is, like, written in catch-up. I don't actually know it. Who won? Who won the battle? Like, you graduated 15. You graduated 15. Who won the battle? She has more Instagram followers than me, so she won, I think. Yeah. Do you know how many more Instagram followers than me you have? You have 23 million more than me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, thank you very much for this. Oh, that's and cute. do 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 Let's bring over right now Maggie. Oh, mom from last time. Oh, that's such what a can cute you say about photo. Maggie? Oh, what can I say about Maggie? Maggie Baird, the best mama in the world. Aww. I'm way too mean to her for how nice she is to me. <laughs> and Maggie, what can you say about Billy? She is the funniest, sweetest, most talented. She is really mean to me, but I love her so much. Billy often says, eat an earlobe. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> She'll say eat anything. Oh. Earlobe is tame. Eat an earlobe. When did I say that one? Eat an earlobe. <laughs> what does that mean? Like a fried one or something? I don't know. Like cut it off, fry it a little, put dips it, dip it in some ketchup, eat an earlobe. It just means stop it, go away. I hate you. Yeah, I guess so. And I have a gift for you, Meg. You right here, a Kurt Vile LP. <laughs> You love the file, don't you? I love Kurt file. And I, I know you got this because I said that Barry a friend reminded me of Kurt Vile. <laughs> right? Exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh. How, how does Maggie get you off Instagram Live? Oh, yo, that's so funny you bring that up. I was sitting in, um, God, what was the parking lot? I think mom was like... She, I don't know. This was like years ago. I think. I don't remember. I was sitting in the car. Mom had to run into some store to get something. Earth Cafe. Earth. Get Earth. Boba. Matcha. Was that what it was? Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> yeah, so that's what shows Poor how you. long ago that was. Um, and I was sitting in the car and I went live. And there was a, I was playing with a straw. And I just had like... like I didn't have any drink left. I just had the straw. And I was like sipping in the straw. And of course, my mom had just left. So I, I didn't think that she would know that I was live streaming. She left to go get me something in the store. And and she texts me because I was playing with the straw, right, in my mouth because I didn't even realize I was. It was just like, you know, hanging in here or whatever. And she texts me. She just goes, stop with the straw. Like, like, <laughs> eight exclamation points. Exclamation point. She loves so doesn't she? She does. It's true. <laughs> so I, I had to end the live stream because of that one. And you met Patrick in Alaska? I, yes, I did. I'm, actually, I met him on a plane on the way to Alaska. He wasn't very nice to me at the time, but he won me over later. <laughs> well, thanks so much, Maggie, and do 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 do. When you do interviews, do, do. people love the sound this is, of these your These fellows are cute. They do. 
Uh, do you ever listen for the sound of your chains? It's really white noise at this point because if you if I literally go like that, you can hear it. You see? You hear that? Just like a little I don't know. It's it's like and I never am not making noise with my jewelry, so I don't ever notice it anymore. And I have a gift for you, Billy. 101 Dalmatians record with Cruella DeVille for you to sample. Damn. What can you say about 101 Dalmatians and Cruella and Billy? <laughs> I love Cruella DeVille. I think she is Cruella a Cruella DeVille. I, I mean, the whole, like, concept <laughs> of this movie was absolutely horrendous. Like, just, like, horrible. Yeah, it was. No, really, like, it was. Even, like, when they remade it, like, into a real-life film, like, it wasn't a cartoon film, like, they used real dogs and they used real people, um, yes. That film was kind of scary to me when I was younger, uh, but I like it, but it's just, like, taking Dalmatian puppies for coats, like, no, we don't do that around here. We don't use animals, furs for coats, especially dogs, puppies, whatever. Like, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But if you just, just if you just forget about what her character did and <laughs> like her <laughs> her uh, what's the word? Her motives. Yeah. Maybe if you, if you forget about them, like, yeah. she's a real real life bad bitch. And she had the half the half white half black hair thing before anybody did. So props to Corolla Deville. And oh, also, <gasps> look at her name, watch. So it's Cruella space D space Ville, right? But, so it says cruel, if you put a space there, then it's la, which means the, and then D-E-V-I-L, the devil. Cruel, the devil. Cruel, the devil. Cruella de Ville, fire, genius. Now also here, Billy, we have Patrick, your dad. Could you come up here, Patrick? Hi, Patrick? What can you say about your dad? What can you say about your dad? Um, I would say my dad is like me and my dad are very, very similar. I've like even like one of my best friends has said that that growing up with me, because we knew each other, a friend of mine named Zoe, we grew up like with each other. We knew each other since we were like three. And she has told me that she did not understand my dad for like years and years. And then one day <laughs> she was like oh he's you <laughs> and immediately it was like boom we know him like like that's that's what she said to me that it's just like i am my dad we're very similar and patrick what can you say about billy <laughs> i love her um her take on the world she has always said and done interesting things and especially taking pictures and i used to make um, whole files of her pictures and make slideshows out of them and set them to music because she'd take all these pictures of her you know that was all entirely on her own i didn't discover they were there until i was going through the the memory card on the camera but you love the beatles too right of course he's why we love the beatles that's guitar strap is incredible well i have a gift for you right here some original 1964 beatles figurine Oh, look at this. You could put on a birthday cake, too. <laughs> well, your birthday's coming up July 7th. So there you go. I love but Billy's daddy. So, like, calm. You. It's for you. But you know, you were asking her about original Beatles stuff. I do have Beatles cards. You gave her some Beatles cards with that gum still in it. And I have a network gift for you. Some Beatles cards from 1978. Oh, wait, what? With the gum still attached. Bro, how do you find this shit? Do not eat the gum, please. Why not? Uh, it, it's kind of old. <laughs> Basically like 40 years old. If I bought them <laughs> when they were, you know, in the store and I still have Beatles cards, but no gum. I chewed it all up. Did you feel like eating the gum? I chewed it all up? What? You feel like eating the gum? That gum was fucking dust. I opened that shit up. It was like, no, I forgot. <laughs> Did you chew the gum? No. And you were also on Larry Sanders and the West Wing? Well, I was, yes. Don't blink or you'll miss me. But and audiobooks, too. <laughs> and what? Uh, where can people find you? Oh, oh there's Phineas right there. Uh, uh, where is your dad on the West Wing or Larry Sanders? An episode. Behind a bar. On an episode in an airport. What's West Wing? West Wing is a TV show that was all about the West Wing, which is the West Wing of the White House, which is where the president resides and does his business. And King Lear. Uh huh. King yes, Lear. Lear. Yes. Your dad was King Lear? 
my note from my director in, uh, in dress rehearsal was more eyebrows. <laughs> and you said that. I can do that. That's where I got it from. <laughs> oh, not King Lear. Right, sorry. Julius Caesar. I was in King Lear long ago. Played Cornwall. The guy who gouges out, uh, what's his name's eyes. Your, da eyes. your dad has a great voice. He does. Mm -hmm. And has a fantastic voice. And he also does audiobooks. Yes, some. I could imagine books, that. Like books that I had to use a pseudonym for, they were so objectionable. <laughs> <laughs> Billy is saying Billy have that same laugh. That <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Anything more about the audiobooks? I'm I'm not allowed to talk about them. We had to sign NDAs, but uh but Dad got paid, so you know, food on the table. Well, thanks for much, Patrick, and do 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 do. <laughs> what I was curious about was, what do you think about celebrity endorsements? For instance, in this particular thing, the Hillary Duff sleeping bag. Uh, maybe you could open it up for a second. So, who is Hillary Duff, is the real question. Lizzie McGuire. Who's that? A, a famous TV show. Lizzie McGuire. You can actually pull out right Billy now. Must you can know. actually see I used to watch it all the time. Sleeping bag. Will there ever be a Billy Eilish sleeping bag? Um this is hard. The fuck? Of course. Of course there will be. This is hard. Okay. This smells old as fuck. This <laughs> smells dusty. Do <laughs> you want to climb in it at all? Just for fun? Just because he says so. Oh my goodness. Sure. So this is a Billy Eilish. There's no lice in this bitch, huh? No, it's completely clean. Bugs or nothing. Okay. This is Billy Eilish climbing into Hillary Duff sleeping bag. What do you think about that though? Like a celebrity sort of sleepwear. Celebrity sleepwear. Good question, Narwar. What do you think about it? Well, I was curious, what do you think about that? <laughs> well, I think that works quite well. It works good too. This looks like some shit I'd wear anyway. Right? Ready for a sleeping bag race? Yeah. Have you ever had a sleeping bag race? I've ha I have. I have had a sleeping bag race. Who won? Um, I always win. The fuck? My mom would actually like organize them, but we called them, what they, what'd you call them? Like potato sack. Hacky sack? Potato sack races where we would get these like janky, like tan burlap sacks <laughs> and we they were literally like this big and we'd hop in them and we'd jump all mm -hmm. the way across the field and back so yeah i'm pretty experienced man well thank you very much billy eilish keep on rocking in the free world and do 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 yeah yes oh <laughs> <laughs> <Aww>, narwar <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff, Nadwa. Great stuff. It's like right. crazy, but funny crazy. <laughs> Still there. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay. Okay, so that is it for that video. Thank you so much for this request because I've never seen um, this video before. The only thing I've seen from this video is like a two minute clip, I think. And I don't even remember. <laughs> that so yes this was a really cool video so thank you i love nardwa he's like he asks like the crazy like questions and knows these like facts and brings all these things into it and knows like he knew everybody's likes and stuff a little presence were on point so that was really really nice um this was a fun 
interview i love watching the fun interviews so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed make sure you like share comment and subscribe and i hope you have a lovely day today filled with positive vibes good energy all of that good stuff and i'll see you soon bye